Okay, next topic is going to be part two of dysphagia, and we're going to discuss Schatzky's ring, um, plumber Vinzen syndrome, as well as Zenker's diverticulum. Now, Schatzky's ring is going to be a distal ring of the esophagus that's going to present with intermittent symptoms of dysphagia that is not associated with pain. It's going to be an episodic dysphagia, and it's going to have occurred for years in the patient, okay? So think of an episodic dysphagia that has occurred for years. It's going to be intermittent, and it's not associated with pain. This is going to be a distal ring of the esophagus and it's gonna be in the squamo-columnar junction proximal to the lower esophageal sphincter. And like we said earlier, everything in the esophagus, what are we gonna do first? We're gonna do a barium swallow, also known as a barium esophagraphy, okay? Our treatment, it's gonna be dilatation procedures. You may also see pneumatic dilation and um, this is going to be how we're going to look at the Schatzky's ring. Our next cause of dysphagia is going to be plumber Vinzen's syndrome. Now, when we said this is going to be a distal um, ring, plumber Vinzen's is actually going to be a proximal stricture, and it's going to be associated with iron deficiency anemia with progression to squamous cell carcinoma. Plumber Vinzen's is usually going to occur in middle-aged women and you're going to notice, you're going to see this, you're going to re recognize this by the CBC usually. And our best initial therapy is going to be iron, obviously, because we, we're going to be di iron deficient. But basically, we want to remember, once again, it's going to be an esophagus. So what's going to be our first step? It's going to be barium swallow slash barium esophagraphy. So plumber Vincent's, remember, unlike Schatzky's, which is distal, plumber Vincent's is going to be proximal and it's gonna be associated with iron deficiency anemia and found in middle-aged women. And we're gonna diagnose it with a barium and we are gonna treat it with dilatation procedures as well as iron replacement. Last is going to be Zanker's diverticulum. This is going to be a false diverticulum and it's only gonna go through the mucosa and submucosa unlike our true diverticulum, which is Meckel's. And this false diverticulum, this patient is primarily going to be presenting with the dysphagia, of course, with halitosis. They're going to have this fetid odor to their breath. And basically, this fetid odor is going, to, is going to be because there's rotting food in the back of the esophagus in this diverticulum because um, in the back of the esophagus because there's dilation of the posterior pharyngeal constrictor muscles and the food's going to remain in there. This is very, very proximal, and the patient's going to complain of having to repeatedly clear their throat, and they're going to wake up with undigested, regurgitated food on the pillow. I know that doesn't sound pretty, but that's how they're going to present it to you on the test. So remember, it's going to be dysphagia, like we said, with a really bad breath. I want you to think Zankers, which is a false diverticulum. Um, we never want to do endoscopy in these patients. Why? Because if we do an endoscopy or we place a nasogastric tube, it's going to perforate or it's a very high chance of perforation. So anytime you see endoscopy or nasogastric tube in, the, in, the, in your answer choices, you automatically want to eliminate it in anchors because there's a high chance of perforation if you use those. Now, you're going to see this usually in elderly, and of course, it's in the esophagus. So, what are we going to what are we going to do? We're going to do a barium swallow or a barium esophagraphy, and our treatment is going to be surgical resection, and contraindicated, like I just said, is endoscopy or nasogastric tube. So, our second part of this phase is pretty simple, and we're going to, you know, let's go over it real quick again. Schatzky's ring, and. Schatzky's ring is actually characterized by an intermittent dysphagia and it's going to be episodic and the patient's going to have had these symptoms for years. It's going to be more distal in the squamo-columnar junction proximal to the lower esophageal sphincter and we're going to do barium and we're going to treat it with dilatation procedures. Plumber Vincent's is associated with iron deficiency anemia. It's more proximal middle-aged women, barium of course again, and dilatation procedures plus iron replacement. And Zankers is going to be the person with dysphagia and bad breath. 
It's going to be very, very proximal. They're going to wake up with undigested regurgitated food on the pillow. It's going to happen in the elderly patient. We're going to do a barium once again, and the treatment is surgical resection with endoscopy and nasogastric tube being contraindicated. And that's our second part of dysphagia.